Welcome back to my video on painting my own backdrop. In the previous video, I painted the sky and the mountain scenery. Today, I'm painting the buildings. The first step was to paint the side where the sun is not shining, which is the side that is called the shade. Here I'm painting the darker color. Next is painting the highlights, which is the part where the sun is hitting. And I'm using a lighter color. And it's important to take your time when you're doing this. I did not paint in the uh, windows or the doors right now because I'm going to paint them on top of this once it's dry. I'm using acrylic, so it's pretty uh, easy to wait. For. The next step is I painted in a darker uh, shadow on the shade side to show the part where the sun is not coming at all. Something to keep in mind when you are painting a backdrop is that the things that are further away, uh, the bluer they get. So here I am mixing some blue into the color uh, that I am going to use to paint a bush that is further away from what I just was painting. Okay, the moment of truth, painting clouds. First thing to keep in mind is perspective also works on clouds. The further away a cloud is, the smaller they are. So here I am drawing small ones first, clo closer to the horizon line. And as I progress up higher and higher, the bigger they get. Uh, okay, now the scariest, scariest part, which is painting the clouds. First thing to keep in mind is where is the sun? Again, it's on the left, but it's upper left. So I am first painting the cloud shapes, a dark bluish gray, which is a mix of my sky color with some black. And I'm going to be painting all of these like this, and then later on coming with lighter colors. Here I am painting the uh, shade lighter than the first base coat. So I just added a, a, some white, and here I am kind of using a stippling motion to uh, fill in the uh, lighter color. Um, right now I am basically scared because it's not looking as good as I want it to be, uh, but I am telling myself, be patient, it's got to come out. And so I am filling this out, hoping it's going to come out fine. Here is the brush that really saved the backdrop. It's a makeup brush, and it's a very soft brush, and it's really good for applying paint. Uh, here I am adding more white to the mix and starting to stab the paint on, keeping in mind that the sun is still on the left, high up, so I am putting the white paint on the left side and making sure that I keep the bottom part of each cloud still dark to show that the there is a shadow underneath it because clouds have mass. So the sun won't go all the way through it. So tr always keep the sun in mind and have a shade side to your cloud. That's one of the tricks. Okay, things were getting more hopeful. Here I am adding more white. And this time I am removing a much paint from the brush so I can have a dry brushing effect here. And now I'm dabbing it on, keeping uh, the white paint off of the bottoms of each cloud, but this time now they're getting fluffier and and uh, there's white now in uh, on the clouds that look very uh, airy. So now things are just finally uh, taking shape as a, a real proper uh, cloud.
Oh, folks, it's, it came out really well. Uh, that makeup brush did the job. Um, as I was dry brushing over each and every one of these clouds, it was just starting to get really nice. Well, here is an overall shot of the entire background. I hope you like it. Please like and subscribe and leave any comments.